Alright. Head into here again. If we can make a little more progress. Hope is to get somewhere. well there we go that to get a couple of hits in something yeah we're gonna yeah this is the place for titanate shards for sure now Drop down. Dig it. Ooh, that was... I've been down. I know I've been like down here, but I don't know if I've been down here. If that makes any sense. I don't know if I've been in this section of the level. Oh, this is the illusionary wall. Okay. Yep. All right. Up. Oh, this is the shortcut back to this. That's kind of a cool. I go this way. Yeah, okay, so this is where I died down these stairs. Close by to this. That's exactly what happened the last time. <coughs> oh man, sorry about that. Still getting over this sickness, I don't know. When it's gonna end? Been a month now. Oh. 
Maybe. Alright, here is tough. Not dead yet. No, he's dead. Man, I just could not get anywhere in this area. I wonder if I just kind of like rush, not rush, but like just run towards that. Doing. Run to that shortcut area. Backstab him, kicking off the edge, that works too. We want to get over to those stairs right over there. That's actually the beginning of the whole area right there. So that'll take us, I, I believe, to the beginning of the whole area. Okay, we're actually getting somewhere at least. So far.
this rouge? What is that? I need to look that up. Adds lacerating effect to right hand. Okay. Those are just single death ones. For a gesture. On the other side, okay. We're on the other side of the world. There's not any. I mean, there's probably an item or something, but. Now this time, don't forget about... I think I'm going to equip just the regular... Regular heal aid. Remember how to do it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how far. Oh, is it that bone right there? Hey, yeah, this will be far enough away from it. Now let's see where does it go. All the way back up. Kind of just make our way like this. That bow guy is starting to really bother me. I'm going to assume that we can't kill that thing.
What the heck is that? You don't want to be hit by those things. And they're slow and they don't have a very long range. There's a trap there. Where's this milk ring? Really boost us dexterity and obscures rolling. to see the switches. I'm gonna assume that there's really nothing in these barrels other than just the magic magic beams that come out of them. Run along the edge here, I guess. Really go for a bonfire right now. I did not know where to go. If we can avoid some of this stuff, preferably all of it.
Right. Man, I got that Estus off. Now, this area is tough. Hard to. I think I was actually dead, but it's just difficult to get a good spot. It's it's too much. Uh, little space to dodge I might switch up games here in a little bit I think I might be a little Dark Souls out for, for now I might switch to more of a maybe like a puzzle adventure type game We'll give this one more go, or we'll just give this this last go and I switch it up here. I could just ignore that guy completely. that guy before the other guy can get by. Yeah. This. Shield up, because... Oh shoot. Alright. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna switch up games. I'm just not I'm not feeling it today for this. For this game. I'll be back in just one second. Alright. Let's see here. I'm thinking. I think I played a while back that I really Not this game.
All right, this game is called Quern, and uh, it's a uh, it's a puzzle game, kind of along the lines of Mist and uh, especially. motion blur Ugh. yeah it's a lot like um, Riven and some of the later miss games where you're walking around and solving puzzles rather than um, Trying to fix the screen so we can actually see what's going on. There we go, finally. So yeah, it's uh it's it's a good one. The graphics, it's a very pretty game. And I've played I've never finished it, but I've played a fair amount of it, so. A crash. <laughs> That's loud. Holy smokes. And here we are. That's as much information as we get. This is, uh, good because that's. Leave sounds up and dialog up. But this footsteps really low. But yeah, so basically it's a uh, kind of a point and click adventure. So basically this is the first area that we start, this little tutorial. Welcome. I am Professor William Maythorn. Although I bear responsibility for trapping you in this room. I have no intention of harming anyone. As a matter of fact, you should consider yourself lucky that I wish to share all my knowledge with you. I will grant you the opportunity to study all of my discoveries and examine my wondrous creations. Eventually, I will require your assistance in an essential manner. You must cooperate with me, for you have no reason or chance to resist. Okay, so um, this is going to be a clue, I bet, based on how obvious they put it. So, yeah, so that's kind of, uh, we're here on this island, and whoever that guy was, obviously, um, here before us. Can uh, manipulate things like that, or just look around. Okay, yeah, that does not fit in there. Must be something wrong with it. Yep. 
and examine those these little triangular slots right here. Hopefully they're visible. So this I think it was something like that if I remember correctly. Alright, so This little map here so which is kind of nice which is very nice because you can figure out where you've been i think there's a little pathway underneath the gateway there like it needs a handle or something, a lever. Looks kind of familiar. Back to our letters, it looks very much like that, but definitely not a complete Or some more. Oh. Have something like kind of pine cone tree. Is I bet it's gonna be some kind of uh, I bet this this block right here needs to go in there. There's lots of stuff here, just can't do anything with any of it.
apparently that's going to be a shortcut or something. That's... When I set foot on this island, I was an enthusiastic archaeologist in search for the remains of an ancient civilization, the Dolmar. In manuscripts, they refer to this place as the Forbidden World. <coughs> they called it Guan Cuerno. To simplify it, by the right of the explorer, I gave this island a new name, Quernok. I soon realized that this world means much more than an archaeological site, and my interests expanded. To make you understand the extraordinary nature of this island, and to clarify my views for you, I left a series of letters on my lap. Okay. Here's the rest of the puzzle, I think. the torch you picked up. I have access to, or we should have access. All right, so. Dun, dun, dun. Right there. Now for the other letter. It's down there. Okay. Of a tower, a tree, like some kind of fish, electric fish, maybe with based on the lightning bolts. Apparently, he likes pine cones, which you have pine cones, I guess. Maybe he likes this stuff. chest here uh. hey with that handle of work on that this thing right here Mouse two to switch to free mouse mode. I think what we need to do is get this. It's it's pretty dark. Maybe I should raise the gamma a little bit. But we I guess we need to get this so that it can slide down at the bottom here. So we can figure this out.
Who? Guess I have to move. This thing back one. Interesting. Let's see. This is the problem piece right here. see get this piece like right here No good.
pretty sure that this will work. Yeah, I know we definitely need this black. There. Let's see here. Um, There we go. No, I think I got it. There we go. This just slides over, hopefully. Raises that in. Oh, okay. It's a door. All right. More crystals. Or over here, I guess. Okay, that's some kind of generator, I think. Like it, some wires going through here. Oh. Okay. Alright, so there's fluorescent paint apparently. The gold crystal creates light. The magnifying glass shoots through the blue, which then reveals the paint. Okay. We have some symbols and some numbers here. Legend of Cornelok. Juan Cornelok, Tolmerian for Land of Undying Thoughts, is a mythological world first mentioned in an ancient Tolmerian manuscript where it represents a great but undefined and uncontrolled power. According to the legend, wielding the power of Cornelok is a double edged sword, holding the metaphorical meaning of the greatest ultimate responsibility. This legendary world has had a considerable impact on literature due to its enigmatic, enigmatic and unclear meaning. This world has no defined role in the Dalmari, uh, Dalmarian mythology. The allegorical aspect of Quirinalak was taken up in the works of several post dalmarian writers. <sighs> there are writings in which Kornalak is mentioned as the world of the saviors, as, as an example of utopia. 
However, in several manuscripts, writers blame the curse of this world for the very fall of the Dalmar. According to the legend, Kornalak is a uh, Manoe world that was hidden within the world chain somewhere between the Lashan, the Lashan line 74, eastern edge of the Ilana world cloud 75. According to their our current knowledge, the idea of a hidden world contradicts the rules of world, the world chain. Many unsuccessful expeditions were launched in search of Kornalak throughout the uh, centuries. While the present day philolo philologists and historians agree that the story is fictional, there's still debate on what served as its inspiration. And then down here it says, uh, 74, which is the Lishan line, a series of secluded worlds mostly populated by primitive independent tribes. Okay. And then the world cloud, a cloud of 21 civilized worlds, which are members of the United Empire of Worlds. All right. So basically, it sounds like it's just talking about the like just many worlds and how do you get to those various worlds I guess it's, uh, it's not the first time I've seen it's not this symbol but I've seen symbols like this so I don't know what exactly they're for yet Hmm, wonder if these symbols... Oh, there's a letter right here. Maybe this will help <laughs> explain what's going on here. I prepared for your arrival for decades. The only thing you need to do is to climb the stairs up there. This is the place where my journey began. Where I became truly aware of the unbelievable power this island possesses. I was rather curious back then, so eager to discover and learn. My mind was so clear and naive. I missed those times. Your journey must also begin here. I need you to inspect my studies and understand the basic utilities of these crystals. I put an empty notebook right next to this letter. Feel free to take notes and draw sketches for yourself. Oh, okay. That'll be helpful. Press P to draw sketch. Yeah, oh, yep, there it is. We can type stuff in here. Okay, that's that's nice. Let's see if these symbols take a picture of this then. Let's see if it corresponds to anything. Yeah, it looks like this is definitely what it's used for, so I guess. So this little symbol right here is, I'm guessing it's just one, two, three, four, five. So let's see if we can find this one. Kind of looks like 
that. And a little S with a dot. Little backward F. Hmm. Hmm. Not seeing that symbol. Maybe this isn't... Maybe this isn't correct. Like, almost correct, but not quite. No. Alright, um... Let's see, where else can I go? Yep, there's a path underneath. Okay. Hmm. What's there to do up here? I just can't seem to...